What's going on, everyone? So we got Lakers news and reports yesterday that Rui Hachimura is expected to be the starter after the Christian Woods contract. So it looks like the Lakers very likely are going to start Rui Hachimura. Now, I do imagine that there will be competition in training camp. I do imagine that the Lakers are going to give everyone a fair opportunity. Darvin Ham, right, I don't think is just going to right now lock in the starters I think he's going to want to see what different units look like, what different lineups look like, right? Like who's performing the best with LeBron and AD and uh, Austin Reeves and stuff like that. So I don't think it's a lock that Rui is going to start. It does make a lot of sense. They just gave him a big contract, right? Question is, though, is where do they start him? Do they start him at the four or do they start him at the three? Now, personally, before I get into the Rui thing, I still believe the Lakers should keep the continuity and go with the same five-man unit that they did that led them to the Western Conference Finals. I think you should stick with D'Lo, Reeves, Vando, LeBron, and AD. I think out of everybody on this roster, that is the most complimentary five-man group. You got three ball handlers, essentially, and D'Lo, Reeves, and LeBron, but uh, Reeves and D'Lo are very good off the ball, right? And the offense, you imagine, is still going to go through LeBron a lot, right? He was more willing to to play off the ball and kind of play within the offense. Uh, but how much of that was actually him really committed to that? And how much of that was he was injured and he just, he, you know, he it was he couldn't do all the things that he usually can do, right? I'm curious to see what that is. If LeBron is willing to basically play within the offensive scheme, then fine. I think you could, you don't need, you could switch things up. You could change things a little bit. But if LeBron is going to basically be the point guard anyway, the point forward, then I think having D'Lo and Reeves makes the most sense because they're so good off the ball and they're such good shooters. And then you have Anthony Davis, who's the do-everything guy. And then you have Jared Vanderbilt, who is arguably the best on-ball defender in the entire league. So you have... An elite, you have two elite defensive guys, two of the best, you know, arguably top five defense guys in the league. Anthony Davis, by every metric, is the best defensive guy in the league. Jared Vanderbilt, again, arguably top five by the metrics, right? And then you have LeBron, who's LeBron James, and then you have the two guys that can score at three levels and shoot the ball and play off the ball. I think that complements a lot. Now, moving Rui into that starting unit, I don't mind. Right, One of the big issues the Lakers had last season was going into s- slow offensive starts. Right, Took a little while to, to get the offense going. Rui gives you that over Vando. Although Vando has been working like a madman on his three-point shot. So how much is that improved? But even if it's like slightly better... Right, Rui just gives you more of an offensive repertoire, right? He gives you a guy that can score the ball more. My problem with starting him is if Rui is just going to be basically a spot-up corner three like they do with Jared Vanderbilt, then you might as well start Jared Vanderbilt. If you're going to actually run sets and plays where you're going to allow Rui to really thrive, then fine, put him in the starting unit. But if he's just going to be a corner three-point guy, like Jared Vanderbilt is, then what's the point of starting Rui? Start Jared Vanderbilt, let Rui come off the bench, and let Rui be the number one offensive threat off the bench. It makes zero sense to start Rui to just have him be the Jared Vanderbilt role when he's not as good as Jared Vanderbilt in that spot. Is he a better three-point shooter? Probably, but who knows, right? Rui wasn't elite from three during the regular season last year for the Lakers. He was in the playoffs. Can that translate to the regular season? That's a real question mark. We'll see. But there's also a real question mark with Jared Vanderbilt, right? So they both have the question marks from the three-point range. The difference is, is Vando is much better at guarding the three and much better at guarding basically anybody in the league not named and beating Jokic. And that's just because he doesn't have the weight behind him, right? Where Rui, Rui has been best at guarding fours rather than threes. Now, Rui has slimmed down, right? And so you imagine that that's got to help. My concern, though, is it's, yes, the the lack of size will help, but it's also the foot speed. 
He doesn't really have the foot speed to stay in front of the twitchier guards. And look, I love Rui. I think he's going to be a huge staple. I think he's the LeBron James replacement at some point. I think he's a guy that could legitimately be a 25-point-a-game guy if actually given the opportunity, right, once LeBron leaves and all that stuff, right? Like, I could see that. But I think he is best at the four spot. And also, if he slimmed down, does that kind of hinder the weak, does that hinder the mismatch that Rui is? Right? Rui is a, a lethal mid range guy, and he's really good at using his size and strength to bump and create that space. If he loses a lot of that size, does that make things more difficult for him? He also was really good in a small ball center because he is so big, strong, and physical that he was able to, we saw what he was able to do to like Carl Anthony Towns, right? He actually held his own. Carl Anthony Towns repeatedly tried to back him down and couldn't move him. Like couldn't move him at all and was getting frustrated. Jokic was having his troubles. I mean, you're not stopping Jokic, but he was having his trouble. Rui was holding his own, right? Do you take away what kind of makes Rui special? Right, that sizable, physical, just durable, can get to his spots, bump you off, right? You can run the post, right? To like I don't know, it's a real question. Could him slimming down make him a more a bigger offensive threat? Possibly, right? Maybe he is more agile. Maybe he is able to, to move around and operate more, right? Like because he's slimmed down. That could be a possibility. We'll see. Time will tell. But I still think he'd probably be best at the four spot. The issue is LeBron at this stage in his career is not great at the three. And I've seen people push back but and say, you know, like LeBron loves to, you know, he, he can chase around. He can, but do you really want him chasing around a bunch of 20-something-year-old twitchy, quick, athletic wings and he's, cut, and he's having to fight over ball screens, and he's having to do all this stuff. At 39 years old, year 21, who's coming off of a foot surgery, can he do it? Sure, but you're going to wear him down, or you're going to get him injured. He's been injured every year since he's been on the Lakers. And you want him to play the three and have to chase around all these young guys? For what? When he's best at the four spot where he can play the scout position. He doesn't have to worry about the fours. All the fours are his size anyway, right? None of them are are super elite three-point shooters anyway, right? So he, he can kind of just play that middle post, kind of play that safety. So I just, I, I, it comes down to what are, what are the plans for Rui Hachimura to start, right? If, it's to just be a corner three-point shooter. It makes zero sense. At that point, you might as well go with Tory and Prince, right? And give you a legit 3 and D guy, right? If Vando's three-point shot isn't really knocking down. If you're actually going to utilize Rui, run sets, run plays, operate him in pick and pops, dump the ball down to him in the post, let him get some mid-range jumpers, and actually have him as a fixture offensively, then sure. I, I'm totally okay with that. But I don't know if that is what is going to happen. That's my big concern. And also another thing, Anthony Davis doesn't want to play the center position. And if he doesn't want to play the center position, are you starting, how do you start Rui with, say, a Jackson Hayes? Like, you, what, you're going to go Reeves, LeBron, Rui, Anthony Davis, and Hayes? You could. You absolutely could. But I don't I don't know how well that works. I don't think you're great defensively. You think you're a liability defensively. And you don't really have shooting. LeBron was terrible last year. Anthony Davis hasn't been the same since the bubble. Jackson Hayes can't shoot threes. Austin Reeves is literally your only three-point shooter. Maybe Rui can get to like 38%, but if he's the, what was it, 32% or whatever in the regular season, that's not good, right? Like, could you go with Christian Wood? Sure. Maybe you go Wood, LeBron, Rui, AD, and Reeves. Okay. But still, like, yeah, that gives you more shooting, but defensively, how much does he buy in? 
I just, I don't know how much Rui makes it. Like, will they start him to begin with? Probably. Will he forever be the starter? I don't know if that's going to be the case. I wouldn't be surprised if come playoff time, Rui is a backup. If you didn't have LeBron, I don't think this would be a question. Because you could just have him play the four, and Vando plays the three, and everything's great. But you have LeBron, and the offense is probably going to run through LeBron. Which means if the offense is primarily running through LeBron, Rui Hachimura just becomes a spot-up three-point shooter. Which is pointless. Why do that? Why go that direction? It doesn't make any sense. So I'm hoping that that's not the case. I'm hoping they, if they do start Rui, it's for him to be a fixture in the offense. For them, yes. I'm not saying he, you have to run your offense through him entirely. No. Is he going to have moments where he's a spot-up three-point shooter? Yes. That's fine. But if that's all he is in the starting unit, is just a corner three-point shooter, then you shouldn't start Rui Hachimura. If he's getting a mixed bag where, you know, he's he's uh, corner three for two or three plays and the next two or three plays are running, they're getting him some looks and letting him take some shots. Sure. Then fine. I'm okay. But it's got to it's gotta make sense, right? Otherwise, you might as well go with a, a, like a three and D. You might as well go with your best defender and Jared Vanderbilt. I, again, I think that they should stick with the continuity. I think continuity is very important. I think, you know, chemistry, all of that. I think that that is very important. I think that the Lakers should stick with that. But those are my thoughts and opinions. And as always, I pass a question on you. Let me know yours down in the comments below. What do you think? Do you think Rue should start? you think, uh, yeah, have him in the starting unit, play him at three? Do you think you play him at the four? If so, do you play LeBron at three? Do you think you go with, like, an unorthodox lineup and kind of go positionless and have, like, maybe you do go Vando, AD, Rui, Reeves, and LeBron? I wouldn't hate that. Right? Again, kind of lacking three point shooting, but, you know, at least you got like that elite, you got the defense there. You could run some offense through Rui, you got Reeves. Hopefully, LeBron can shoot better. I don't know. It's going to be interesting to find that balance. But anyway, again, I already feel whatever your thoughts are. I'd love to hear it. Let me know down in the comments.